Next to Mike, when you think of Croydon, you probably don't think of Middle East and spices, but the name is an indication of its history as a centre for growing saffron. Croydon originates from the Anglo-Saxon for Crocus Valley. In Roman times, saffron crocus was grown there to supply the London market. Well, now it's back being farmed there, and Martin Stew went to see it being harvested. Fenced off from its concrete Croydon surroundings, this unused construction site has become home to the world's most expensive spice. Ali McKinley has opened a temporary crocus farm. The stigma of each flower is saffron. The, the most expensive part of the saffron is the, the red tip, and then it becomes orange and connects into a yellow uh, section, and we've taken all three in one. The project has been crowdfunded. At peak times, dozens volunteered to plant and pick. Harvesting the saffron is really quite labour intensive. It's a bit like playing that board game operation. You need a pair of tweezers and you have to grip the stigma just underneath where the three meet and pick them out. Most saffron is now grown in Iran and Spain, but it's a hardy plant which has flourished in England since Roman times. In fact, the word Croydon comes from the Anglo-Saxon, Crodenu, which means Crocus Valley. You've got a red rose of Lancashire and a white rose of Yorkshire. So for Croydon, this, this should definitely be our flower that everyone kind of gets behind. And it, and it is a beautiful flower as well. There are 20,000 plants here. Just one kilo of dried saffron is worth more than £10,000. Pound for pound, it's more valuable than gold. Are you a rich man? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. Uh, uh, I mean, we've got quite a good stash, um, but... Yeah, I, until I've assessed its quality, I can't honestly say what it's worth. I've been sent some very high quality saffron from Iran. Uh, I've also picked some up from a local supermarket. And what I'm going to do is uh, get the chef to compare the three, but I don't think I'm going to tell him which ones are which. Regardless of the crop's quality, the plants will now be shared between community gardens right the way around Croydon, bringing crocuses back to the valley. Martin's with me now with news of some 